Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought it would be super fun today to do a husband does my voiceover. Today, I just did a simple video. I thought it'd be a perfect video to let my husband tell you what I did today and uh, give you guys some fun entertainment. This video was inspired by actually a good friend of mine. Um, her name is Justine. She also actually has a YouTube channel, which I will go ahead and link below for you guys. Go check her out, she's amazing. So I hope that uh, you enjoy his commentary and we'll see how he does. All right, let's get right into it. So I don't even know why I have this out. I don't need this right now. But first what you need to do is massage your face. It may look like I'm putting something on, but I'm really not. So just kind of rub and sorry y'all, this is out of focus, um, but uh, we're just gonna squirt this on here and a little sponge. And this is called dabbing. And I know like the millennials, um, you know how they, they kind of like put their face down to their arm and dab? Well, this is dabbing for women. And uh, this is what we do to kind of get this set and get it on there. So make sure you get under the chin. Uh, a lot of people like to look under my chin. So I love to get under there. Um, that way, if they do look, they can see it looks good. I like this. Make sure you get behind your ear too. Um, all right, so if y'all didn't see that, that just said Mars and kind of like football players. You know how they put that black under their eyes for the sun? Well, this is what we do for women. This is why I have this tutorial. Don't know what this does yet. I'm just trying something new, y'all. So we'll just kind of see how it plays out at the end. Um, but yeah, it looks kind of like a stick. Um, all right, so kind of just blending and dabbing and um, just kind of finishing up. All right, what's next? Let's see what I can do here. I'm just experimenting. Um, nobody really sees, you know, because my eyes are open all the time, but I always like to put something behind them when I have them, you know, in case I close them, someone can get a quick shot. I want to make sure my eyelids look good. All right, so kind of brush this on here. Um, ooh, oh, almost made me sneeze there. Um, all right, so kind of, yeah, make sure you get you know, underneath the, you know, chin and uh, my eye. Sorry if my eye, okay, I'm running out of this stuff here. So I'm just gonna keep using it. This is the only reason why I bought this palette is uh, for this color. So when I run out, I'm just gonna buy another one of these palettes. Um, don't use any of the other colors though. So, um, you know, maybe we'll experiment with them later. Who knows, but um, love this stuff. I'm just gonna keep using it till I run out. Forget the other browns. I mean, this one is the real deal. So I just kind of dab, um, make sure I kind of go into there. It's almost looking like I'm creating a bruise on my cheek. Um, and I, you guys don't really need to do this. I just like the way the brush feels on my nose. It just, I love this. Oh. Uh, I should put a disclaimer in here. I don't need to do this, but okay. All right, back to the um, bronzer here. And um, we're just kind of make sure you put your lips to the side like this. It definitely helps stretch your skin so you can get under there. And, um, you know, definitely want to get. Um, okay, this is my new palette. Check it out, y'all. Um, I don't know which color I just picked, but make sure you squeeze the water out of your spot. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of this stuff too. All right, well. Um, I don't, oh, why am I, why did I just put that there? It doesn't go there. Sorry. Oh, it's, yeah, we're supposed to brush it here. I don't even know why I put it under my eye. So yeah, let's make sure we streak it and we want to highlight the bruises. So, you know, just kind of look at those cheekbones. Um, flawless brow. Okay, so I have some gray hairs in my brow. So I definitely want to get those gray hairs out. And I love using this flawless brow because they look flawless, hence the name. So I kind of move this to the middle and make sure you do that little tap I just did there. Um, get get the excess off. And uh, I just kind of go in and paint, paint all the gray hairs out. And um, you know, I don't really have much on the end of this brow but I do have it on the end of the other brow, so I spend more time down there. Um, just, I don't know, it's weird how they grow in, but looks good. All right, we're getting there, <laughs> yeah. All right, so check this clamp out. I got this at Home Depot. Uh, it works great, and you don't wanna keep this on too long, um, cause you know, kind of like what I'm about to do on this side, I kind of hold it for a little bit longer. And it'll make your eyelashes fold back so far that you can't hold your eye open. Um, just gets in the way. And um, I want to make sure we hit these little guys down here. I know nobody ever pays attention to these, but I love to kind of show them. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm feeling it. 
All right. Uh, what next? I think I forgot something. Dang it, I did. What am I thinking? All right. Well, um, I just I love this bruise bruising I got going on here, but I don't know if my husband's gonna like it as much. So we're gonna have to get rid of this. We're gonna have to do something about it. Um, let me think. Elf. Yes. I use this at Christmas, um, and it works great. And um, this is gonna hide the bruising. Um, so yeah, we just kind of go over it like this. And this is pretty much Photoshop for women um, doing live makeup. This is probably, would. this is kind of, I think my husband calls it the spot healing brush. So this is healing, the, oh, there I go, I love doing this. Again, you don't have to do this. I just like tickling my nose and blowing on the brush. All right, back to this. Now, let me see, I think it's going away. Ye yeah. Yeah, ooh, I love it. Okay, it's lip time. So you remember when you were a kid and you would color inside the lines? So I draw a line around my lip so then I can um, actually color inside of my lip so I don't make them too big. And um, you don't need lip plumper when you do this. You can kind of, um, that line extends them out, but just make sure you color inside the line like a good little kid and um yeah look at this Ooh, hello morph okay so this is dry shampoo i love spraying it on my face it just sets the makeup and the fan we got at disney world when you're waiting in line use it hope y'all enjoy papa's home oops let me hold on let me just hold on, hold on. i'm almost down oh my gosh i'm sweating you're sweating it's hot out there little video, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, love you. Okay, love you. I look forward to hearing your guys' feedback. Leave me lots of good stuff in the comments as always. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so that you don't miss any notifications when a new video comes on. And I hope you all have a great day. See you later, bye.